it's just too tight. And it does button comfortably, so what the heck. Hey peeps, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are gonna be decluttering my closet today, but it's not just any closet decluttering. I'm specifically challenging myself to declutter every single thing in my closet that no longer fits me. I feel like there's not too much in my closet that's just sitting there that I don't wear that I need to get rid of. It's mostly things that are just from the past like year or two years that I've been holding on to, hoping, hoping that they'll fit one day again. And that's just not healthy, but there definitely are a few pieces still haunting me to this day that I just need to get rid of that just aren't serving me anymore, that are making me feel bad about myself, that are making me feel anxious, that like every time I go to put them on, it, it's just a sad feeling and I just don't need that in my life anymore. I know this is something a lot of us struggle with, especially with the pandemic, a lot of our bodies changed and so we might have pieces that no longer fit anymore. So hopefully you can watch this and if I can do it, you can do it as well. As I'm filming this, I'm not sure how I wanna do this. I'm definitely gonna sell most of these items that I'm getting rid of and then give some of it to my sisters. to jump right into this closet decluttering but first if you're new here make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed already I post two times a week on Sundays and Thursdays and it's always vintage and thrift related but without further ado let's just get into the decluttering you guys don't even know how much of a nightmare this is like if you think this looks bad up here which it does look pretty bad it's very disorganized there's a lot of stuff on the floor too what is this honey I was shocked honey I was in tears almost so I've got a big plastic garbage bag here. Obviously not throwing these things away. This will just be the catch-all for everything that I'm gonna sell. Also, I'm just wearing an oversized t-shirt and sweatpants. So if there is anything that I'm questioning, if it will fit me or not, we can try on. So, okay, going through this dress, I love so much. I got this in January of this year and I've worn it a couple times. I'm super excited to wear this during like October and Halloween. This dress I love. I think it fits me. I guess we'll try this one on first. Um, hmm. Obviously not with this t-shirt, but this one actually still fits me pretty well, which I'm kind of surprised, but it does have a stretchy panel in the back and still has a bunch of stretch. So this one is safe. We're keeping this one on my jumpsuits, my big bud press jumpsuits, my boiler suit. I wore both of those recently, so I know those fit. This is something I know I need to get rid of. I love it so much. It's a vintage, like super colorful romper. And when I got it, I always felt like it was too short on me. I don't like things that are super short. So I've really only worn it once or twice. And I'm sure by now, because it's a button up, it definitely won't fit. So this one will be up on my Etsy. I love it so much. This side is like stuff I've hung up pretty recently for the most part. So most of this is stuff I wanna keep. Sadly for you guys, I will be keeping this amazing 70s maxi dress. I will never declutter this. So we're keeping that one in there. This side is definitely where there's a couple pieces that either I don't wear anymore or I need to declutter. This shirt I'm gonna be decluttering. I love it, but for some reason I just have a hard time pairing it. Yellow's not a color I wear all the time. It's so super cute and it deserves someone who's gonna love it and that's just not me. I'm just, for some reason I just don't wear it a lot. It's very cute though. My Pride and Joy Pop-Tart shirt, never getting rid of that one. This is one I'm not sure about. I'm gonna have to try this one on. This is a really cute, kind of like spring summery cardigan. I haven't worn it in a while, so I'm not positive if it'll be a good fit. Okay, yeah, that definitely still fits. I love this so much. I'm gonna wear this ASAP. It doesn't necessarily button comfortably, but I don't wear cardigans buttoned up. I wear them open and it does button comfortably. So what the heck? Is it just me or does anyone else love to do that like kind of preppy look where you just button the top? Not this combination, but I love that. This shirt is another one I'm questioning. It used to fit me. We'll see, let's try it on. Again, it looks so gweeby with the top, the t-shirt underneath, but it does fit comfortably. It's not too tight in the shoulders, which, oh, thank goodness. So these tops have been sitting here for a while. This one I think I'm gonna keep. This one is a t-shirt I thrifted, um, but it's originally from Everlane and has a really pretty mock neck. This one is a Madewell turtleneck. It's just a little bit too small and too tight on me. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. I love it, but I have a couple new turtlenecks now that I like better, and this one's just a little bit too small for me. So we're gonna throw this one in the bag. And you know what? No, I'm already falling into my bad pattern. So let's try this on and I'll see if I actually think it's good or not. 
yeah, I think this one will be a good one for fall. As much as it pains me, I have to get rid of this chocolate brown top. Every time I go to put it on, it's just so tight in the chest. One last time for the memories. Something about it is off, like the shoulders are too tight. Okay, getting rid of this one really hurts. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys for half a second. I considered just cutting this whole thing out of the video so then you wouldn't even know that I tried on this top and that I could keep it. But then I was like, girl, that's the whole point of the video. So I'm putting it in the bag. So I'm gonna need a round of applause for getting rid of that one because that one cut deep. If anything, this video is getting me so freaking excited for fall. Like I'm just looking at all my little fall clothes and getting hyped. This is another one. I love this rainbow cardigan, but it's a medium. So I think it's too tight in the shoulders. I don't know, I guess it does have some stretch. This one's a maybe. I think I'm gonna have to try it on like privately with like a different outfit or t-shirt because actually I don't want to seem like I'm convincing myself but I think it really does fit like really well like this top. I love this top very much. Look at how cute. I thrifted this in my Valentine's video. My husband found it for me. It's just too tight. You know when it like smashes your chest and gives you like a weird kind of like uniboob? That's what it gives me. So it's an extra large and it has a lot of stretch but it's just still too small on my chest or looks weird for some reason especially because it's peplum this one hurts too because i love all those flowers on there it's like a very kind of like 80s 90s reminiscent but that's not what we're here to do today we're here to make room for the things that actually do fit me this i love because i love pink and blue together i've only worn it a couple times because i just don't love how button-ups look on me and i think this one was technically like a unisex or a men's button-up so it's not super great for my shape this one is like bittersweet because i love the colors it's just it's rare that I wear a button up. The bag is getting full. I'm actually proud of myself. I did not think I was going to be this strong and this brave, but here we are. This crochet tank top I thrifted like a year and a half ago. It fits. It's just such a weird cut on me because it's cropped, so I'm getting rid of this. Okay, so the initial decluttering is done. It's looking still bad, but we got rid of quite a few things. There's still a ton of things like in a pile right here on the floor, but I think what will be best before we start going through everything else is to organize this closet in rainbow order because I don't want to hang stuff up and then rearrange. So I'm going to go ahead and organize everything in rainbow order real quick and I will be right back and we'll hang everything else up. All right, I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse. So now everything is in rainbow order. It doesn't look as satisfying as you would think. It's not the most satisfying, but it definitely makes it easier when you're getting dressed. So now that that's done, there were a couple things I found in the closet while I was like organizing it that I decided to put in the bag. So let me show you real quick. There was only like two things. I think the only thing actually was this top. It's like a more professional businessy blouse. I like it, but this one is also kind of tight on my chest, like not super, super tight. Like I could get away with it, but because of that, I never wear it. So I'm getting rid of it. It's a really nice like top if you're a business person and you need a blouse. Another thing I'm gonna be decluttering is this rainbow button up. Originally from Forever 21, I love it, but I think it's too small for me now on my chest. And again, I really went through like a phase where I was obsessed with button ups and I'm just not anymore. I don't like the way they look. And now I'm just gonna continue to hang some things up and then get rid of things as I go, I guess. This vintage house coat is one I'm sadly gonna part with. Just again, too tight on my chest now, but it's a really pretty red color with these blue daisy flowers. I love these. But another thing I've kind of like grown out of physically, but also like style-wise are house coats. I used to love them and I just don't love wearing them anymore. I have one or two that I'll keep because they're like a really cool pattern, but the rest I just kind of gotta sell because they're just not serving me anymore. This Lindy Bop fruit dress, another one that I loved, but just don't get a lot of wear out of. I think it's just a weird shape for me because because I don't wear strappy things like this unless I wear something under. And a halter dress is just something that, in my opinion at least, looks kind of goofy with something under. I didn't know this, but someone commented on one of my really old videos the other day 
and told me that Lindy Bop is no longer in business, just like kind of out of nowhere. So that's kind of sad. Getting rid of this dress, again, everything I'm decluttering is stuff from like a really long time ago that I've just been holding on to that I shouldn't be. This dress isn't vintage, but it has a vintage feel. It's got these big retro sleeves and a really pretty floral print. This one really hurts to get rid of, like, Mm, I'm so sad, but it just it doesn't look good on me anymore. It's a little tight and it's kind of short I'm so sad, but I have real retro dresses now. So this one I'm letting go sadly I'm I know I'm gonna be sad when I list it, but once it's gone I'll be so happy favorite vintage acid wash denim jacket definitely not getting rid of that and I haven't said a word yet um, for you guys to take a shot of water take a shot of water every time I say vintage you know you got to stay hydrated another dress I'm gonna get rid of this one I thrifted so long ago before I even started my channel this one is from a brand Aster the label ASTR I love the dress itself I never super loved it on me when it did fit so now that I've filled out a little more I guess gained weight I know I definitely won't wear it okay funny story behind this dress if you watched my last thrift haul video I think it was or thrift with me I thrifted a Leslie Faye dress and sold it and in that video I was like oh but I have this same one so if you buy it we can be twins my mom is actually the one that ended up buying that for my Etsy shop but after I sold it I was like you know what I haven't worn that dress in a while like ha, I should try it on and it just wasn't a fit and I was gonna keep it because I was like I'm holding on like maybe I'll get smaller maybe I'll lose weight and maybe I will maybe I won't and so I just feel selfish keeping it I absolutely love it it's red with white polka dots and then it has gold buttons it has a matching belt as well it's just on the other side of my room but this one I will be selling so sadly but I'm glad because I know a lot of you were wanting something similar love it so much but I need to get rid of it because it's too tight on my chest and I don't see anything happening in this department anytime soon. My favorite Halloween jumpsuit going up in the closet. So freaking excited for Halloween. One of my favorite vintage nightgowns that I love to wear as a dress. All right, we have just about everything hung up now. Um, it looks fuller than it is, but when you push all the velvet hangers together, there's quite a bit of space here and quite a bit of space here. There's just a small pile on my bed now of clothes that we need to go through. So once we go through that, will be done and declutter. I feel like this is a good size bag because it's really full, but it's full of things that I genuinely love, but I just know I don't fit in or I won't wear. So I'm really proud of myself for getting rid of some of the things that are in that bag. So these two dresses I'm iffy about. This one I love. I remember I thrifted this like three, maybe two or three years before I started my Instagram account. The reason I'm kind of considering it is because I loved it so much at the time and because this was actually what I made my first Instagram post in, which fun fact was two years ago yesterday. So I started my Instagram account two years ago, which means my YouTube channel is about a year and a half old. So this is sentimental because this was what I did my first ever like Instagram fashion post with, but it doesn't fit me anymore. It's such a pretty dress. It's not vintage, but it has that kind of like vintage calico feel. It's got like a paisley print. One last dress going in the bin. Ugh, this one I've been waiting for so long, waiting for so long for it to fit. This one is from Hell Bunny Vintage. I actually thrifted this, I think at the Goodwill outlet. So it was a really good find. This is another thing that I'm like, oh, I should just throw it in the closet and pretend like I'm not getting rid of it. But I have to, it really doesn't fit. I try it on every couple months. Sometimes it's closer to fitting, sometimes it's not, but it just needs to be free. I can't wear it and it's n and it doesn't fit me. Like, what's the point of keeping it? Like, it's really just not gonna fit anymore. Like, stop trying to make fetch happen. I'm being brave and I'm putting it in the bag. <laughs> I think that was it. That was the last piece. I have like one jacket sitting on my bed that I'll hang up in just a second after we end the video. But I think that's gonna be it for today's video. So if you're interested in buying these pieces, I've made up my mind now. Anything vintage will be on Etsy and anything not vintage will be on Poshmark. I know that's super confusing and not a streamlined way to do things, but that's just what's easiest for me. But hopefully it'll be easy enough to navigate. So I will leave my Poshmark closet and my Etsy shop linked below if you wanna shop any of the things you see here. I know it's not super size inclusive because obviously I was mostly decluttering things that were too small for me. So it's really only sizes that were smaller than me, but I, I am always trying to restock like plus sizes in my Etsy shop. Hopefully if you're like me and you were harboring some things in your closet that you just knew didn't fit for the longest time that were haunting you, that were hurting you, hopefully you can do the same and declutter a couple things. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you give this video a like. It really helps me out. If you want to see how I style up any of the clothes that are currently in my closet, Closet. Be sure to follow me over on Instagram. That will be linked in the description box as well. That's where I style up all of my vintage pieces. 
and that's where you can get some thrifted outfit inspiration. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this closet decluttering. I hope it was somewhat satisfying. It looks so much better, but I think that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and have a good one. Bye!